Welcome guys, this is Ola from Stop Me O channel. Today we are <laughs> reacting to a Witcher 10th anniversary trailer. Again. <laughs> yeah, I have done that before. I think you might say that there's no point in um, reacting to a trailer that I have actually seen before and there's actually a reaction already recorded on my channel, but hear me out. <laughs> I recorded that trailer reaction prior playing the game. I, when I started playing Witcher 3, I actually recorded a bunch of reactions to, to all the trailers, the DLC trailers and, and whatnot, uh, because it felt exciting at the time uh, to like see what's, what's out there waiting. But in the meantime, I have finished that entire game. I have finished both DLCs recently. I'm only playing some side quests right now, uh, both on my channel and on Patreon. So that's pretty much done. And I think I reacted to that trailer prematurely. I didn't even know half of the characters. I knew some from the books. I knew some from the first game, but I haven't played Witcher 2. And some characters uh, showed up for the first time in Witcher 3. I just think that trailer hits differently after playing that entire game, after finishing Witcher 3 and both DLC so we're going to react to that trailer again because now I am done with Witcher 3 and boy that was such an adventure such a brilliant game I feel so safe uh, playing that game when I re-enter it I know that it's my Geralt I know that I picked his haircut I know that I picked his gear and I have um, very specific bonds and memories when it comes to certain areas places like Novigrad, Velen, Skellige Islands and now currently I'm uh, I'm around Bokler around Tucson and it's been wonderful that entire witcher adventure has been wonderful it started quite early on for me because i'm from poland and i know that if you've been watching my channel you know that but i feel like there's always some new people so in here like i said before witcher is a big deal and i have known witcher books ever since i was a little kid and i read some of them uh, a couple of years ago and then uh, the short stories i have read uh, last year there's the tv show of course and the games and it's just a, such a big deal and i feel like i'm talking too much so let's watch that uh, 10th anniversary trailer after having finished that entire game Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and uh, both DLCs so Blood and Wine and that other one Hearts of Stone. It's been a year since I last saw the trailer and the way things are for my Geralt uh, if you haven't been watching my gameplay Ciri has survived uh, she became a Witcher. Geralt of course ended up with Yennefer uh, she's currently on my bed at Corvo Bianco uh, and she's like always there so yeah this is what we're, where we're at. Let's jump right into the celebrating the 10th anniversary of The Witcher. Another sunny day at Corvo Bianco. This is my vineyard. Hey, now I recognize it. I was just <gasps> reminiscing and realized, damn, been ages since we last saw each other. You know she me. came to visit. I <laughs> stay put. No. <gasps> Regis Major Domo <laughs> drops in with herbs for Triss sometimes. Strange. Regis came. Regis or yeah, Regis. He came. I thought that he was still in hiding. This is wonderful that he came because like I feel like he's Geralt's best friend, you know. And I was always wondering. Uh, I think that that guest room is specifically for Siri, and I I just love that. Like I I didn't know half of these people when I was watching this for the first time. God, it was such a silly decision. Okay. Sees I've never seen. They grab Yennefer, lock themselves in her lab, spend all day brewing. Wouldn't dare interrupt him. <gasps> Not that I'm complaining. <gasps> Gives me time to help the guy. Bloody Baron came. Oh my God! Like I, f <laughs> I feel like he's also sort of um, Geralt's best friend. Like he has many best friends. Yeah. But like he's like Velen's best friend and Regis is um, everywhere's best friend. Well there's Yaskier but I'm just not the biggest fan of him but oh my god do I see Shani? You know what I did? I actually slept with her. <laughs> I don't really like Geralt um, uh, cheating on, on, on his woman so Yennefer but yeah Shani was just so nice so Geralt sort of went for it. I didn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> <gasps> Oh my god, I keep swapping. I'm sorry, but I'm just so excited. Like, all gear is here. Oh, anyway. Can't shake the feeling they mainly take jobs nearby. Lambert practically lives here. As I said, I to sit still. Except things are good here, you know? I'm good. We play Gwent, drink wine, 
Swipe grapes from Anarietta's vineyards the odd moonlit night. Vesemir'd enjoy that especially. Been through hell and high water, you and me. The fact is, you know me better than anyone else does. I wish they wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Thanks for everything. And no, we all miss you, old friend. So, might be my birthday, but I say, here's to you. Now, tell us how you're doing. <laughs> they looked kind of creepy. <laughs> Oh, time is fleeting, but memories are forever. Ah, this is so sweet. Oh, <laughs> seriously though, watching this uh, before the game doesn't make any sense because Witcher 3 makes you create such a bond with Geralt and with everyone else. Everyone has their own version of Geralt and each person's Geralt has their own history, their own ending. And even if we have the same ending, we might have a different perspective and different view on that ending. So to me, it makes so much sense that Geralt would sort of settle down. I mean, even all throughout the books, he always wanted to sort of be seen as a person too, a moral person at that, not just a monster, not, not a monster at all. And I feel like settling down for that kind of life is an ultimate proof that he actually did it. Like he, he reached that moment everyone is here everyone's here i didn't recognize half of these people i love that i absolutely love that trailer it, it's lovely i could like sit here and talk for hours about how i love that game but i definitely feel like that calls for a separate video so i'm going to react a separate video when it comes to well, my own wish adventure i kind of feel like there's no point in recording a witcher 3 review because it's sort of obvious that the game is brilliant might have some flaws but i'm not even going to bother and look for them there's no point the game is wonderful it's so complex there's so many details so many lovely places it's pretty mind-blowing how they mastered it how they managed to sort of respect uh, Sapkowski's legacy too I love it I absolutely love it and if you have been watching my gameplay you know that I've been loving every second of it thank you so much for that and if you haven't then it is on my channel so do check it out uh, I'll be recording a separate video about Wishes Morality soon and my own uh, Witcher 3 impressions sort of I think that type of a video not a review anyway thank you so much for watching guys do subscribe and remember to drop a like it really does help the channel stay safe this is all from stop me old channel bye